Concordia beginning the conference season at home, trying to salvage a split of the doubleheader after dropping the first game 5-1 to one to the Minnesota State Mavericks. As Concordia getting back at it at Carwinder Field, to give up a run in the top of the first, but getting to it against Minnesota State starter Katie Capone and Nicole Thompson using her speed with a bunt single. And then Justine Shatner grounding one into the hole on the left side as Concordia was stringing base runners together early on. Ground ball in the hole. Concordia would put two runs on the board in the first. Dana Mogren had a huge game, though, answering right back with a double into the right field corner. That would get the Mavericks going in the third as Mogren would then take off, sliding into third with the stolen base. She'd come around to score, tie the game at two in that third inning. Haley Shanks, couple more base runners, but was able to pitch out of it, keep it tied going into the fourth. But the Mavericks again finding some holes. The bloop single there in the left field, another ground ball finding its way into center. Dana Mogren would drive in two runs with that single. And then Minnesota State tacking on another with the Jess Meidel base hit. Minnesota State grabbing the lead 5-2 to two with three runs in that fourth. Dana Mogren then in the fifth, driving it deep over the fence and left a no-doubter her third home run of the year. Mogren to drive in five runs in the game. It was 8-2 Minnesota State. Concordia trying to answer it back, but the Mavericks can play some defense too. Second baseman Ashley Thiel with the glove flip to get a fielder's choice. And then in the Mogren again, a two-run single. Minnesota State takes a 10-2 lead. They would close it out. The Mavericks getting the doubleheader sweep over Concordia. Golden Bears come right back here to Carwinder Field on Friday afternoon.